All right, folks, I have a beautiful 1998, what is this thing, Dodge Neon for sale. For the right, this, this car's got to be for the right person, though. So here's what I think about this vehicle. I'm thinking this would be a great car if someone wanted to have a field car. I don't know if you guys ever had a field car, but this is the kind of car that you take and you run it out into the fields and you just have some fun with it and you don't really care what happens to it. So this car actually runs pretty good. And look at it, it's even got a whole month left, a month and a half left on the inspection sticker. So let's take it for a ride and see what we got here. It's got only what is that 204,312 miles on it. So let's go take it out into the woods. Oops, sorry. Put my seatbelt on. And see what we got. All right. So we're going to take it for a little bit of a drive. Here we go. This should be fun. All right. Fortunately, I have just the place to take it. Okay, now one of the disadvantages to a field car is when you actually get it beached and then it can't go anywhere. Let's see what I did here. Ugh, I'll turn this thing off. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so now I got a little problem here. Let me back up. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. All right, well, you know what? I do have a solution now. See, if you're going to drive a car like that off-road and you're going to get stuck, you need to have something available to help you. Yeah, I'm really uh, stuck on there. To help you uh, get unstuck. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to go get myself unstuck. All right, now this is how we get a car out of the woods. If you're going to have a field car, you got to have something like this to help you get unstuck. So here we go. 